Hello, fellow gamers. Patrick here with State 764, and today we are getting into the blacksmith. So let's jump right into it. I got a 10 minute timer. I'm going to try and get this done under 10 minutes. Here are our tips of the day material cues, troop specific materials, the depot, crafting, Dragonite fra frag fragments, holy crap, and equipping. So let's see how fast I can run through this and try not to hit that beep at 10 minutes. Okay, here we go. All right, so inside your blacksmith, you have get materials. The thing about getting materials is when you first start out, you've got cues. These cues are limited to what you upgrade your building to. So I would suggest getting it up to level 10 as fast as possible. Now, you also have specific types of materials that you can craft. Excuse me. So scavenger, dreadnought, wanderer, and cavalry. This is for basically your T1 troops or the cavalry that you send out for gathering is your scavenger gear. Dreadnought is your infantry, wanderer is your archers, and cavalry is cavalry. Now you have two others, which are basically the tyrant and immortal. You don't get those until much later on in your castles. I believe it's castle 25 that they actually open up, but uh, I'm not there yet, so I can't speak to that. You have your material shop, which I'll get into in a little bit. And like I said, your cues. Now, you only have white material that you can produce in the beginning. The greens, the others, those require research, and that's under production accessories. So, I am working on Dreadnought, and I am basically up to eight cues. So, I can either drop all eight of one material, or I can do up to you know however many mixes that I need. Now, what I do is I gauge that by looking at my depot. In my depot, under your dreadnought, and it's set the same, you, each section of troop type is what your materials go into, and this is your materials tab. So like I said, I'm in dreadnought, and I just threw in a bunch of iron. So these irons in here, once they get done, you get to combine them. Let's see if I have any that need to combine these. Nope, I've combined them all. But what you would do is if this gets to, let's say you produce four items of white material, you click on it, you combine, and you can take these four and combine them into one green. And four greens into one blue, and four blues into one purple, and so on and so forth. I think it's 124 whites make a purple, just one purple. So as you can see, Combining your materials takes a lot of effort to get up to having enough materials to craft, and that's what's next, it's crafting, your gear. So I am looking to craft the highest level of gear that I can, and let's just look at this ebony plate for the dreadnought. If I go to craft it, this is what it starts out as, as white materials. So if you click these materials, it tells you what you're capable of producing. So right now, if I were to try and produce a purple ebony plate gear, I have 100% purple, which means I can produce that right now and have 100% pure purple item, okay? Now, if you were to, let's say in your scavengers, go over here and say craft boots, right? Now in these blues, I have three blues and one green material. Now, the trick that I'm trying to figure out, maybe someone could comment on this if they know, is that if I'm below 33%, I believe that I can hack this by having three blues and one green. Now, let's just look at purple. Purple, I'm not there yet, so blues is where I'm at. So if I were to craft this gear and try and get it to be a blue piece of gear, and I'm going to use one of the greens. Let's see. Now, crafting, you can craft it and use your time. That's great. I have extra diamonds, so I'm just going to craft it immediately because I want to see if I can get a blue piece of gear with this hack. Boom. So, no. 31.8% was not enough to get a blue piece of gear. So that hack didn't work there. All right? Now, let's see. Let's see if I have any other gear that I might be able to try the hack on. So, Dreadnought, Craft, Blue, 
purple, orange, nope. Uh, oh, blue, purple, orange, nope. Alright, so let's see Wanderer. Uh, I need this to be in blue. Uh, okay, here's another test for that hack. Alright, I have purples in three slots. I have blue in one slot. I am below the 31%. And let's see if I can get a purple. So, being under 31% seems to be the trigger for me to get the hack to work. And like I said, the hack is basically able to take three of a higher level material and one lower level, just one, like purple, I can use a blue, or blue, I can use a green. I'm still trying to make certain that it's below 31%, so that's gonna take a little bit more time on my side, but as you saw, if it was above 31, it didn't work, below 31, it did. Okay, so inside the depot, you also have equipment. Now this is equipment is everything that you, you basically have available um, within that type of troop, okay? And as you can see here, I just created this purple right here, which means I can equip it. Now, I'm using these guys as scavengers. If you click in here, it opens up the available gear. And if you click the specific type, it tells you what type of gear is available. So I can click this, it's an orange pickaxe, and I can equip my full set. And that works because I didn't have anything equipped. And as you can see, I have a completely purple set with one orange upgrade. And having a four-piece color set, like let's say you have four items in blue, that gives you an up, a buff. If you have six pieces, it gives you an additional buff. Now where you can see those buffs, uh, let's go outside of this real quick. Um, Let's go into the gear, wait, 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 wait. Go into your troops, go into your gear, go into attributes. In your attributes, it shows you, I have a four piece gear attribute. I need a six piece gear, which unlocks additional items. These are all the attributes you get from your gear. So as you can see, this one's set for Wanderer. I'm going to unequip, actually, let's go into the depot. Let's go into Depot, let's go into Wanderer, and let's remove Suit, okay? And as you can see, it removed the entire suit. So now I'm going to switch them over, and I'm going to make these guys into Dreadnoughts, all right? So I don't have enough gear for it to be available. This piece of gear is already assigned to someone. So let's see if I can set them for Still Cat. Oh, I have them available still calf, so I can then equip the full set. And as you can see, I got a full... Actually, I don't even have a four-piece set. Oh, it is giving me the blue four-piece set, and it is giving me the blue six-piece set. Because I have the purples and the blues, it's giving me a blue upgrade. All right? Um, that's how you equip. That's, that's kind of where... You do it, you either do it from here, or you do it from your blacksmith, and you do it in front of your depot under your equipment, okay? So the other thing I wanted to show you was your uh, Dragonite, your material shops. As you go and get um, chests and different uh, rewards, you collect Dragonite fragments. You can then use those fragments, so I'm going to take this fragment chest that I've got, I'm going to unlock four of them, and those are going to give me materials. So it gave me these materials from that those fragments that I've collected. Now, one of the great resources to getting the fragments or chests is basically um, the destroyer. Level 10 or better is, is where you want to really be on those destroyers. So let's just go to level 15, all right? Level 15, if I attack it, I'm gonna attack it with these bad boys. 
All right, and then once that goes out and attacks it, um, in your backpack, under your other materials, you will have all of these chest rewards. So if you then use those chest rewards, at, that adds additional materials into your depot. So that's the quick rundown of the blacksmith and how to craft gear, how, how to make material, get material converted into gear, how to combine them, um, everything that you need to get started. Um, and again, like I said, get your blacksmith up to level 10 as fast as possible because that's basically unlocked all the troop types, um, all the material slots. Uh, and then from there, research is what you need from there to improve your capability. All right, guys. Well, that's been just a little bit over 10 minutes. I apologize if I took a little bit longer, but, uh, you know, hopefully that helps you with your blacksmith. Hopefully that helps you getting gear onto your troops. And the higher level gear, the better your troops are. So if you have any questions, hit me up. Patch a kid, state 764. Keep sharing, keep learning, and, you know, help everyone grow around you. It makes the state stronger. All right, guys, Patch a kid, out.